Sometimes I get put off by buying certain things online because you hear stories <clears throat> about certain websites, certain shops on eBay that they aren't very good. But this isn't the case. I've been after a custom Xbox 360 control pad for all, ooh, quite a while, ever since I've I've had my Xbox for about a year, a year and a bit now, and I've been after a, a custom control pad for a very, very long time, you know, ever since I found out about modification on control pads, stuff like that. So I thought, you know, I'd give it a go. Um, control Mods, that is, controlmods.co.uk, the website, and, you know, they give you the options of making a custom control pad on the website, which is what I did. And all together, um, with, well, it was free PNP, it came to about £78. Now, personally, I thought that was pretty good myself, pretty reasonable, because I looked on eBay, on certain shops on eBay, <clears throat> excuse me, and they were a lot more, they were about 155 uh, plus, you know, stuff like that. And postage and packaging wasn't free either. It wasn't first class uh, post recorded. So, with that being said, you don't want to hear me now. You just want to see the control pad. Well, here it is. So, here is the control pad. It's got my... Gamer tag there in like sort of a graffiti style, which I really like. <laughs> you know, it's painted on, it's not stickers. My analog sticks are see through red, as you can see. My D pad, my buttons are red, and my home button is a red LED. And my home button is also the monster logo. And this is the back. It's complete green. <coughs> you know, the triggers and the bumpers are green as well. So is the mic plate. <coughs> and there's the battery pack. Standard battery, battery AA batteries, of course. And that's the red LED go on on there. There's your back button, there's your star button, obviously they're in red. And there's my gamer tag here. So yeah, I really like it. I really love the way it turned out. Designed it myself, they made it. Um, it was dispatched within <clears throat> a few days after of them making it. And I received it two days later of it being dispatched, so postage was excellent, you know, postage was really good, but for other countries, it may not be the same. But yeah, that's my pad. I really like it. <coughs> There's the B, Y, X, and A buttons. And yeah, I really like the way it turned out. So yeah, control mods, very reasonable, very good website, and they email you a few times before you're dis dispatched. They also have a Facebook, they also have Twitter, I'll leave everything in the description for you to check out, <laughs> for you to check out. So yeah, go check them out. Um, other countries... I don't know what the postage and packaging will be. Um, and if you want mod chips, I didn't have a mod chip in mine. Um, you can get mod chip. There's all sorts of different designs on the website. So, you know, go check it out and go see. Go see if you can create some crazy creations with an Xbox. And they do PlayStation pads too. And I believe they're getting the Xbox One and PS4 pads in very soon too. So. You know, for the, well, it's basically current gen now, isn't it? You know, Xbox One, PS4. Go 
find out, go to the website. Like I said, I'll leave everything down below. And yeah, good quality, good service. Good times. See you soon, folks. I will have an update vlog soon because... <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know if you noticed, but... I've taken down the podcast. I was having a bit of trouble with that. I'll explain that in, in another vlog um, soon. So with that further ado, see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.